Horses on the track for the eighth race, Claiming Trot. Scratch the one. Number two is Carolyn Atherton's Spring Track, driven by Jim Doherty. Number three, Willie McGuire, all by David Schneider, with Ross Wolfenden. The only mayor in the field is number four, Monorail Hanover, all by Charles Bonham, with Dave Miller. Number five, Right Way, all by Peter Kleinhans Racing, with Stefan Bouchard. Number six is Mon Reeve, all by Chris Ryder and the Crescent T Stables. Chris Ryder, the driver. Number seven, Armbrough Seminary. Ray Schnitker up. He co-owns with Seal Stables, Skeeler, and Kelps. Number eight is Prix de Normandy, owned by Mark Labrie with Tyler Stillings. Number nine, Right Rigger, owned by Greenhouse, Saba, Friedman, and Rubenstein with Ron Pierce. And one claim for number 10, CR Dawn Patrol, owned by Matthew Bensick and Chris Zamborski. George Brennan is in the sulky. Eighth race claiming trotters are at the post, lined up in behind the gate, nearing the start. And they're off. Armbro Seminary trying to leave. CR Dawn Patrol from the outside. Moen Reeve hustles away. Right way has gone off stride. Right way is on a break at the start. Willie McGuire also up close. He's against the pylons there and has a head in front. But Armbro Seminary is right there in tight between horses. And Schnitker had to check him up slightly. CR Dawn Patrol trots on now to grab the lead. Racing in fourth on the inside, Monorail Hanover, who closes the hole on Armbrose Seminary. And further back, fifth is Moan Reeve as they hit the opening quarter in 27 and 2. Spring track has also gone off stride. Gap back there in the sixth spot as they head down the back stretch. Pre de Normandy is under urging. Then it's a gap of two and a half lengths to Right Rigger from seven. Eighth as they head toward the half mile marker is right way and then at the back of the pack spring track is far behind trailing the field so armbro seminary pressed on and he made the lead from cr dawn patrol willie mcguire is third and on the move pre de normandy first up on the outside the half and 56 and two and pre de normandy is moving closer he's now up to third and moving towards second just two lines from the front Willie McGuire angles out there to follow live cover. Up the rail is Monorail Hanover, who's trotting in fifth. Sixth on the outside, third over right regular is gapping cover. Then Moan Reeve to his inside seventh. As they trot to the three-quarter marker, Armbro Seminary still in front, just off his wheel. Pre de Normandy is applying the pressure there as they hit three quarters in 126 flat. See our Dawn Patrol has trot if he can shake free from the box, jammed in there third. Armbro Seminary still in front with an eighth of a mile to come. Pre de Normandy with his relentless rally continues to close in. Pre de Normandy has taken the lead. Willie McGuire on the outside. Monorail Hanover looks to split him. Pre de Normandy drifting a bit. Monorail Hanover to her inside. Late trot from Moan Reeve who's surging up for Chris Ryder, but it's pre to Normandy to win again. Moan Reeve finished second tight for third, 155 and three. Pre to Normandy is in the winner's circle again. That's his fifth Big M victory in eight starts here. He's 12 years old and he's just trotted to a career best 155 and three record. Pre de Normandy, driven by Meadows regular Tyler Stillings, who's done an excellent job driving him here at the Big M, is by Pre de Marique out of Command T. Collins by Texas. Mark Labrie of Woodbury, New Jersey owns and Carmine Fusco trains. So the grand old man, Pre de Normandy at age 12, trots in 155 and 3, fifth victory at the Big M this year, and his ninth victory overall. In the winner's circle to make the presentation, Teresa and Dave Drexel. Number six, Mon Reeve, 3160 and 940. Third, the three, Willie McGuire, 360.